Anyone is there? Hello? Is there anyone? Hello? Like you have said in the intro part, we have used eco effect to sell the story, right? So today we're going to learn how you can use eco effect or delay effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. I have put a link in the description below of the exact same file that we are going to use today. So if you want to practice with me, then you can download that file and then you can follow along with me, right? So this is the video clip that we are going to use. This is the exact same clip you have seen in the intro part. So here if I go to effects panel and then if I go to audio effects and then there you'll see delay and echo under this folder there are three different echo or delay effect one is analog delay delay and multi delay the analog delay is the advanced one so if you are planning to use echo effect or delay effect i'll suggest you to use the analog effect but don't worry we are also going to see how these two effect work today right so first let's see how we can use analog delay effect if i just play back this hey. video clip anyone is there and here at the end ending part Help! there isn't any echo right so if i just click and drag this analog delay effect which is this one i can just click and drag it here and if i play it back you'll see the echo effect have been applied Help! now if you want to modify the effect if you want to change the feedback or the delay properties then you can go to effects control panel by the way if you don't see effects panel or effects control panel then you can go to window and there you have to enable effects and effects control panel if you click effect control panel this panel will appear and here you can alter the settings of analog delay effect if you click here on this edit section then this panel will appear and from here you can change the properties the first one is the preset you can change the preset you can use different preset if i select suppose the robot voice and then play it back Help! the effect is sounding differently right if i select another one which is the 50s slap back Help! so the sound have been changed so these are the slider that you have to use to change the effect right so i'll just select default the next one is mode which mode you want to use the first one is tape then tape tube and the last one is analog these are basically the process that Premiere Pro is going to use whenever you are using this delay effect right we are going to use tape for now you can experiment with the settings and see which one you like the next one is dried out so if I just select this one I can make a in point here if I press I and then out point here if I press O then I can go here which is our program panel and from here I can select loop playback if you don't see you can go to here which is this plus icon then you can just click and drag this loop playback here so that you can use that right so if I click here then I can loop playback this section which I have selected right so I can see the changes whenever I am editing this audio right so I will just press spacebar to play it back Help! and then if i go to here to edit i can change the settings the first one is dried out if i decrease the dried out then the initial sound whenever the help is sounding right the initial sound volume will increase if i decrease it the initial sound volume will decrease right so if i play it back help! the initial sound is very loud so if i just make it quieter then you'll see the initial sound is quiet but the feedback sound is louder right if i play it back now you can see the feedback sound is louder which is the weight out so if i increase the weight out you will see the second feedback will sound louder than the initial sound now if i play it back Help! that's it so whenever you are making your sound equally then you can alter these settings depending on the situation whatever it is right so i'll just keep it quieter than the initial sound i'll just make the initial sound a little bit louder than the second feedback and then the next setting is delay you can see by the name the delay is the setting that will control the duration between the initial sound and the first feedback if i increase the delay and then if i play it back you can see the feedback is happening after 1126 milliseconds so you can control when the feedback will come right so i'll just decrease it 
maybe this much 611 and the last one is feedback how much feedback you want if you increase the feedback the feedback will increase so i'll just keep it 100 and let's see how it sounds you can see the feedback is continuing right so we don't want that we'll just decrease the feedback maybe 21 percent yeah great and then the trash the trash will control the feedback tail if i increase the feedback tail and then if i play it back it will continue if i decrease the trash you can see the lifespan of the feedback is dying very quickly so you can just control that with this stress setting and the last one is spread i'll just give it 100 you can experiment with the settings and see how does your sound sound right so that's it that is how you can use analog delay effect if you want to level up your sound design technique then i'll definitely suggest you to use analog delay effect so let's see the delay and multi-tap delay effect how does that work i'll just clear the in and out and then i will just delete this section and the next one is delay that is very basic if i just click and drag it i can apply delay effect now you can change the settings from here the first one is delay how much delay you want and the next one is feedback and then the mix very very basic you can just change the settings and see how does your sound sound so if i just play it back anyone is there anyone is there anyone is so there? you can change the feedback hello 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 is there anyone is there anyone so that's it and now the last one is multi-tap delay effect right if i click and drag it here you can apply it and here you can see under multi-tap delay effect there are a lot of delay delay one delay two this is basically four different delay effect combined within a single effect so if you want to apply multiple delay effect within your clip then you can use this one so if i play it back you'll see because there are a lot of delay effect applied here it will sound weird right is there anyone so you can change the settings to achieve your desired result if you want to apply a lot of delay effect together then you can use multi-tap delay effect so that's basically it that is how you can use delay effect or echo effect in adobe premiere pro i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you're in this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one and then goodbye